All right, guys. Um, enough playing around. I always play with this guy, and uh, I always lose. <laughs> anyway, model 629, 44 Magnum, 3-inch barrel, um, stainless steel. Yeah. Checking to make sure she's not loaded. But um, very beautiful gun. You've seen a bunch of videos already on the channel, hopefully. You've seen that uh, video I did with the, just the pictures of that gun. Um, beautiful gun. You can see why I liked, why I did that video <laughs> because it's just beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful gun. But, uh, you know, in a sense, why would, uh, you know, why would you want a gun like this? Um, for me, it was a, uh, a TV show. Yeah. And that TV show in question is Tales from the Crypt. Um, kind of odd, but uh, anyway, I, I'm a fan of this show. Um, it's for those of you, it's not necessarily all, you know, horror and you know craziness. Uh, some of the, the 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 stories or the tales, I guess, you is actually quite interesting. And one of the ones in there is called Cutting Cards, and it's got uh, Lance Hendrickson and Kevin Thee in it or Thai or whatever, how Teague, uh, however you say his name. Anyway, it's directed by Walter Hill. I used to watch these when I was really young. Um, my parents used to watch it. I'd sneak away and watch it too. <laughs> anyway, um, then in that movie, or in that show, uh, there's a scene in uh, where they, uh, they're basically, they're a bunch of card dealers or card uh, players and they play poker and they're upset at each other, and basically, they leads them to playing Russian roulette. And Kevin Thiege says, "Well, I've got a 44 out in the glove compartment of my car." And when he goes and gets it, pulls it out of the glove compartment, and you see him hold it up like this, and he's kind of got this sinister look on his face. And part of the reason was because uh, I, I think you know, for me, it was like, "Man, look at that thing! It looks like..." like somebody holding a brick in their hand and it really is it's a it's a really massive gun um for a snubby it's just huge it really is um you can see the thickness on this thing you know um it's quite a gun and when i saw it in that that was the first time i ever laid eyes on it i was like i can't believe they make something like that i almost thought maybe it was a maybe it was made up or something you know but no, it does exist, and as I started looking into it and getting more and more, uh, you know, knowledgeable on Smith and Wessons and whatnot, so I came across the 629, the uh, 44 Magnum with this the short barrel that looks more like that classic look instead of like a performance center gun, which I'm sure they're great, but to me, cosmetics is a lot of a lot of everything, really. Uh, cosmetics on a gun. I don't like it looking too space aged kind of thing. This is a real classic look, you know, class, the flutes on the cylinder and everything and just the, the nice, you know, something that looks like a barrel, you know, and actually, you know, instead of like a, a block that's been shaved and cut, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm sure those performance guns are really nice. I've had, a, I've had the chance to uh, handle a few of them and they, they are so but uh, nothing looks like this um, this gun really looks sexy it's about the probably the sexiest gun I own next to a you know a python or something but uh, this thing is really cool um, it's just I, I'm a really big fan of snubbies I have a, a fascination with snub nose revolvers uh, I'll do a video on that sometime we'll break them all out and uh, but yeah, for the most part, it was this movie or this TV series, keep calling it a movie, but uh, what leads me to buying a lot of these things really is uh, a lot of films. And as my good friend Uzi9 said, uh, movies and that kind of stuff is just like a giant gun commercial. <laughs> and he's right, man, it really is. You know, it just, uh, this thing locks up tight, by the way. I mean, you know, you really, it's, uh, one of the first uh, Smith & Wessons I've ever owned, it's actually brand new. It's, it's not second hand, so uh, you can tell it just has a really tight lockup on it. You know, so nice gun, beautiful gun. I really am glad that they, they put the wood grips on there instead of uh, some kind of rubber synthetic grips or something like that. I'm really big fan of the original wood. 
and I believe that's part of uh, the Talo edition. That's what it's called, the Talo or Tallow. Uh, they dress them up a little bit better cosmetically, and they put the wood grips on there, and the finish is really nice. And you know, I like that finish better. Um, you know, plain matte stainless seems to kind of feel like. I mean, I'm I'm more of like I know like for the the uh, field use or whatever you want to call it you know the less glare and everything like that but I'm kind of more like a collector uh, cosmetic looker kind of a guy when it comes to guns uh, I really care a lot what the gun looks like um, if the guns ugly I don't really want to have it <laughs> uh, you know it's, you know a Glock is uh, a Glock is that hit and miss thing either you like it or you don't uh, a Glock to me has kind of a it has a distinctive look without a doubt, but it is blocky looking, but it, it's, it's, um, I, I like it, you know, it looks good, but, you know, compared to some of the other guns, I just don't, uh, you know, if a gun looks ugly, I'm just the kind of person that's just like, I, I don't want to spend my money on it, I, I'm sorry, even though it, it could be the best and most reliable gun in the world, but that's just me, that's the kind of, I, I'm just, you know, these things are just, for me, something to look at, something to look, hold, and and just enjoy and go to the range every now and then and pop some steel plates but uh, anyway that's I just wanted to share that with you that is why I bought the the gun if you get a chance check out the episode it's really funny but uh, yep yeah, that's why I bought it 629 all that because of a TV show I saw it there and always wanted to have one and there it is and I noticed on the YouTube there there's not too many videos on it so interesting and um, so I'll figure to make some more videos of this thing. So you'll be seeing a lot of this gun on the channel, at the range, on the tabletop. We'll figure out some way to make a video with it and show it off again. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's Bat Jack for you. I'm out. And check out that episode, Cutting Cards.